reading um, page 35 from my latest book, Millionaire Secrets. Uh, if you don't want to wait for me to complete the reading of this full book, um, go ahead and purchase your own copy in the description below. Excuse me, a little nose itch. Okay, page 35. Read your affirmations page from this book every day. Excuse me, or whenever you are starting to feel defeated and tell yourself every day that your dreams are possible and that you deserve them to come true. If you are not causing harm to anyone else while in the midst of making your dream or goal, let your dreams goals and desire to obtain them be stronger than your fears of failing when we use affirmations it creates vibrations that turn into energy whatever energy we put out in the world it will always return to us like a boomerang that is no lie the very next day after i typed and said the affirmations page i received a check in the mail that i was not expecting it was not a large amount but something beats nothing right the next day after that, I was listening to a small, still voice. I listened to it. It was saying, buy four separate daily, three tickets, all quick picks, and one of my tickets won. I was excited to have a little extra money. It turned out to be four times of what I spent. These affirmations really do work, as well as manifesting things for yourself. Manifesting goes far back as Bible times. It is also a great idea to write down your goals in the present tense. When we write down the dreams, desires, and goals, that is also a law of attraction practice that locks our goals into our subconscious mind. The things that we say, the things that we say, we give life to. So what we, so we have to say what we want to occur. Do not speak what you do not want to happen to you or your life. Even if you are not in the best situation currently, you have to say that things can get better for me and they will. We sometimes manifest insignificant things into our lives. So we also have the power to manifest huge things into our lives as well. So as long as we have faith. Also, if it is even meant for it also if it is even meant by our creator to happen for us praying works ever since ancient time praying is another favorite thing of mine that i do to be able to see the change i desire happen this well-known secret is in the delightful good book the bible it can be found in 2 Corinthians 1 verses 11. As you help us by your prayers, then many will give thanks on our behalf for the gracious favor granted us in answer to the prayers of many. Prayer does change things. Some people may think that you might sound a little crazy if you use affirmations. That's okay too because it has also been said that the best way to be happy in life is not to care too much what other people think the people that think that affirmations are not helpful most times will not make it to the wealthy table their mind is not willing to step outside of how they normally think so they will stay stuck mentally as well as financially they are less likely to take some risk most people will read this book or other similar finance book and will gain the knowledge that is in them but will not take any action towards changing their lives with the information they receive that is why millionaires and billionaires are called the one in five percenters they are the few people that will mix their knowledge with some action towards becoming financially set or financially worry free majority of us have been mentally conditioned to think in a particular way when we read the right books we can reteach ourselves to break that mental conditioning that we have been thinking 
for many years. It will help us more than our old way of thinking. So every day, if we take time to practice having a better mindset, we will see and live a much happier life. Since practice makes perfect, practice better habits of speaking kindly to ourselves as well as the people around us. We should feel good about ourselves. The more that you like yourself, the less insecure you will be. The less insecure you are, the more confident you can become. When we are confident, we are more likely to accomplish wonderful ideas, business, and goals effortlessly. We all have a reason on why we would like to become financially free. Most times it comes from being frustrated with where we are currently in our life that pushes us to become better at earning more. A lot of people are unhappy because they do not know that you are not supposed to choose a career because the money is good. The best thing to do as far as your career is to choose something that you love to do so that you do not feel like it is just work or that you are truly unhappy. When you are not genuinely happy doing what you do for a living, it will show because you will not be putting your best foot forward. Use your reason as a source of fuel towards your burning desire for the change that you want so badly to change. The people I listen to, the people I listened to say to find out what your why is or your reason you desire that change in your life another mentor that i listened to was saying that you must be hungry for why you want this change in your life i totally agree that is a t terrific way to describe why you should push yourself to get to your desired destination i grew up in poverty and lived that way for a lengthy period of my life and I got fed up with living that way. I got fed up with being treated like I was less of a person just because I was not able to afford the expensive things in my in life for my family or for myself. I got fed up with living in the ghetto and fighting property on owners about their mold conditions that went unrepaired. It was the comfortability for me. I just wanted to be comfortable in every area of life that I was not. I never cared to be accepted by superficial people either. So that was the furthest reason for the change that I desired. I appreciate where I came from and how I grew up. It helped shape me into becoming the person that I am today. I stopped caring many years ago what other people thought of me. It's a hind it's it is hindering and it will create feelings of fear and inadequacy inside of you. I began my mission on studying millionaires without even noticing it first when I was dating a couple of them years ago. I did not study them on purpose, so maybe back then it was just considered observing. I would say my true research began around 2010. I started reading financial literacy books to find the answers of why some people had a ton of money and why some people lacked it badly. The first book that I read was Super Rich by Russell Simmons and Chris Morrow. From that book, I followed the advice of learning to meditate. I found from meditation that it calms our mind with a calm thought process, we can easily tap into the creative side of our mind. I would fall asleep most times while I was meditating. I also learned from reading the book to give my gift to the world free. And it worked for me. I wrote a romance story and it went viral in the first nine days of sharing it online. So once I learned that the answers to becoming a millionaire was truly in books and that the instructions worked I kept wanting to learn more after I read the first book I went to read another book that I heard about that was widely famous which was rich dad poor dad he sold over 40 million copies there was a reason 
so many of his books were sold. So I was determined to learn from his teachings too. By reading his book, I learned that the way that we think about money and our mindset has everything to do with why we earn as much or as little money the way we do. He tells about the mindset of his birth father, which was the poor dad and the rich dad, which was his friend's dad. That was also a big mentor and influence for him growing up. He also explained that he was into real estate and that is another stream of income that helped him become very wealthy. I am not one to spoil great read, so I do strongly suggest that you buy these books that I mentioned so that you can discover what you can from them. Some people say that there is not a recipe for getting rich, and I agree partially, since there is not just one way. The recipe inside of the recipe is inside of you. And all these books that I'm recommending that you read will help you discover your road to riches. You must be willing to do the work that is required though, as it states in the Bible, faith without works is dead. James 2 verses 14 through 26. Page 38. The Bible is called the good book for several reasons. There are millionaire secrets in there as well. They always say that the third time is a charm, right? Okay. So the third book that I truly, that I read truly worked like a charm. Once I completed reading this book, a new fire of excitement was lit inside of me. I started to let everyone I knew about this book as well as people that I did not know that I was just that I would meet in the laundry mat or in the ho in the hotel I stayed at when I was homeless just anyone that I thought could get some help from knowing how these books can really change your life if you just apply what you learn from them the third book that I can't read I came across my very through my very first real estate mentor, Gerald Harris. I found him through my hunt for some of my real estate questions that my college instructors were not giving me. He's an amazing man that wants to help people genuinely. And through watching him on YouTube, I started following him on Facebook, Meta. I was attending his Facebook live sessions one day and he had a guest appear on his live show so i was listening closely i cannot remember the man's name but he was explaining how he owned several airbnb businesses and that he was very well off financially he suggested that we read the third book that i have read a few times which was think and grow rich by napoleon hill I listened to his, his advice and I bought that book. Through observing Gerald, I noticed his YouTube channel began to grow very rapidly in numbers. We all know that on YouTube, that means your pockets will grow too. So by him giving other people the tools to be great in real estate, YouTube would pay him for the time that he was putting into giving extremely valuable information for free. When I read that book, I promise you, that my mind was blown completely of course in a fantastic way i promise you that this book is worth every second of your time reading or listening to i did not want to put it down i was learning much more about myself and i understood why i would do certain things that i did i was amazed that such a book existed i started to learn so much more than i ever knew before i was learning things that i was not taught in school I was upset that I was not told to read this book in middle or high school. I recommended that we require our children. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me read that again. I recommend that we, re we require our children read this book by the time they reach the sixth grade. I believe it will give them the mental tools to be extremely awesome in life. 
His book cracks the living a fulfilled life code for everyone wide open. I first listened to it free on YouTube. It was for free on YouTube since it was available. Next, I bought it as an ebook, and then I bought the paperback book because there's something magical to me about seeing and holding the words inside of a book. That's page 38. So, um, I'll record more pages um, another time. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope that this video has brought some value, um, some great information to you, and that you will share my videos with your friends and family so that um, I can share more valuable information that will help you get better in life. And have a blessed night.